Anyway guys, we're going to try this on 6S and it looks like there's a freaking truck coming. miles an hour nice nice if we get a range extender on here guys we're gonna be able to go a lot quicker so last pass was 180 or last pass was 86 miles an hour now we just went up to 105 we're on 6s and I was nowhere near full throttle so I think we can get quite a bit more out of this thing All right, guys, that was a pretty good run. I was excited to get up over 100 miles an hour finally. Um, this car handled pretty well. The crosswinds were kind of rough. So we got the TP4070, um, Castle XLX2. We're running a Fataba radio system, a uh, Reedy brushless servo. The biggest addition to this setup is the new Onyx Power Systems 8000 milliamp 3S battery packs. So we ran that on uh, 6S and no more cutting out. In the previous uh, running, I did a 86 mile an hour run on 4S and it was cutting out. I don't think it was enough juice, but this had no cutting out. Um, I feel like it had a lot more to go. So we're gonna see how much we can, how far we can take the 6S batteries with this car um, and see what we can get. But it had a lot more power left in it um, I think I may have got half to two-thirds throttle and uh, even after watching the replay um, I shut it down just past me and it probably could have got a lot further the reason that I shut it down though was because I've been using this radio which has always been a good reliable radio for bashers but I don't really get way way far away and I could definitely feel the lag in this and so I've got a range extender. I'm waiting for one more part. I'm going to either try it on this radio, see how it goes, or I'm just going to buy a whole new uh, radio setup, maybe a radio link or something, so we can get a little more. Stay tuned for more runs on this. I'm hoping to get to 120. But for now, I'm very happy with 105. Finally got a car over 105. Um, I'm not new to the RC stuff, but I'm just new to the speed stuff and it's kind of a nerve-wracking to run you got a lot of stuff going on in here it can cost a little bit of money and uh, just trying to get the car to run stable and run smooth um, been watching a lot of videos um, of some speed run guys that have been doing stuff I think uh, we got James McCoy been watching his videos a couple others I think uh, um, can't name them all but i'll get them in the next video just kind of watching what they're doing to their cars how they're trimming them out uh, adjustments diffs all of that stuff in my previous video you can see i set it up very similar to um, james mccoy's v2 setup just to get it going and uh need to experiment from there and uh yeah please like subscribe and share there's more speed runs coming thank you